and Glenn Hefferin, who is the commissioner of the United States Hockey League. Sevy, this is the number one junior league in the U.S. I know you're a Western League guy, but Glenn, thanks for being with us. And what brings you to Dallas right now? Obviously? Brian and Sevy, thanks for having me. Uh, I was here today for meetings with the, the North American Hockey League commissioner, Mark Frankenfeld. Had good uh, good discussions about the future of junior hockey and some of the some of the challenges we're we're both facing. What, what are some of those challenges? Well, I think there's you know there's obviously the challenges at all levels from recruiting coaches and officials that's that's a big part of it uh, some of the changes that be you know that may be on the horizon with respect to the CHL and potential eligibility there's been a lot of talk but there's really not a lot happening so but we continue to monitor it and, and talk about some of those issues can you explain your league a little bit to the people and the sure. role that it plays to feeding into the NHL and the NCAA? So the USHL is a 16-team league, including uh, the U.S. national team that plays in the USHL. A full schedule with uh, between two teams. Um, we develop probably half of the Division One college players that are playing college hockey today. So there's 1,800 Division One players. Almost 900 of them are from the USHL or have USHL lineage. And then from the NHL standpoint, right now there's more players in the NHL from the USHL than any other junior league in the world. Even the uh, Western Hockey League? Including the Western Hockey League. Sorry, buddy. Hate to break it to you. Sorry, Sevy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, great, great. There's still great talent coming out of the Western League. Don't Thanks, you buddy. worry. Thanks, guys. There's awesome some talent. Uh, yes. there, there's no question. All, all four leagues are are producing great players, and we're really proud. Last year's draft, there was 51 from the USHL, 39 direct, more than any other junior league. So these are things we like to be proud of and brag about. So, well, you okay? You, okay. You mentioned some of the talent that has ended up in the NHL, and there's a, a quick list of some of the alumni. But from where the USHL was to where it is right now, and maybe the level of play and that talent starting to pop up in first rounds. Of NHL drafts more. What has that process been like? So, the, you know, the uh, the league made a decision uh, several years ago to be, go for Tier 1 status, which involves roughly a $5 million annual investment by the, the collective teams and all of the things that they provide and paying for their building, for skates and all the gear and the extra coaches. So these are all important things in the name of player development. And our owners are are just incredible. They, they find ways to say yes when it comes to developing players, which is awesome. Just real quick, Ryan Suter, he's involved too, right? With Ryan, Suits is a, an owner in our league. Suits, for, yeah. I like it. Yeah, so he's an owner in the league. Uh, he owns the Madison Capitals. And I try to leave Ryan alone in season, but he's, he's a terrific owner and uh, hopefully I'll catch up with him after the game if he's in a good mood. <laughs> Glenn, congratulations on all the success with the league so far. Moving forward, we appreciate the time. Yes, thanks so much for having me.